G'day, it's Rusty from Rusty's Outback Adventures and in today's video I want to talk to you about mud flaps. When I bought the canopy and the tray for the conversion from the well body to the current setup, um, these are the mud flaps that came with it and as you can see they're quite short in relation to touching the ground. So what I've done is I've gone and made some, some heavy, um, that's probably 3.8 rubber mud flaps and extended them 150 off the ground. Um, I did that mainly because the original mud flaps, as you can see, if I put it there, look, it only, only comes halfway down here. So rocks coming off the tyres at speed on gravel roads, it's throwing them all over the camper trailer. Um, and if you've seen from the previous video, you know, we've got a quad bike on the front. We don't have a stone guard across the front when the quad bike's on there. So that really caused us some issues with getting lots of rocks and things damaging the front. So I put these longer ones on. What I didn't factor into putting the longer, slightly heavier mud flaps on is the load it put underneath. Now, this is actually broken, and this strap that holds this back to the tray um, actually pulled out of the mounting hole in the aluminium tray, obviously vibration on a gravel road. So we've now got two problems. One problem, the mud flap wasn't big enough and the second problem is the new mud flaps are too heavy in their current state. So this 40 mil by three strap is not strong enough. So the plan today is to replace this 40 by three aluminium strap with some 50 wide. Instead of having one bolt here, I'm gonna have two bolts at the bottom, two in the top, and I need to repair this. I'll just show you what damage it did under here. This is the mud flap at the back. There's the uh, 40 by 3 strap that fits up here and as you can see it used to be bolted up there well that's the damage it's done it's uh, vibration it's pulled the bolt out through the aluminium so the plan today is as I said we're going to put a wider strap there we're actually going to put two bolts up in this two bolts up in this uh, tray here and try and reinforce this lip so uh, okay that's what we're doing today pulled the mud guards and the mud flaps off each side um, I can go ahead and use the original bracket off the passenger side which was a support bracket the other driver side one got bent when the, when the flap broke um, I've just realized also that this is only 30 mil wide aluminium strap so I'm going to use some 50 mil by 3 aluminium so that'll be a lot stronger give me a bit more support and I'll be able to put instead this has only got one hole in each end, I'm going to put two holes in each end, and I'll also need to put another hole in the mud flap where it bolts on and drill two holes in the guard. So there's a little bit of little bit of work to do there, and I'll get on with it. brackets I've put two holes in the bottom and the top the bottom where it goes onto the mud flap um, I put two holes in I put two holes now for extra holes in for the mud flap where it goes I also made a top plate that fits up inside where the mud guard bolts onto the uh, the top underneath the tray so that gives a bit more reinforcing done the same on both sides so now it's just a matter of reassembling it and I'll I won't worry about showing you all that, I'll just bolt them all up and I'll show you when, it, when it's all finished. So I've bolted them all back up again. As you can see now, this is a much wider strap. This is 50 mil instead of the original 30. Two bolts in the bottom instead of one. And up in the top here, if I can see up here, 
two back in the top and I've put a plate up there as well so I've actually put four bolts just to reinforce that lip on that underside of the tray so uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that's come out from a, you can't really see that it looks much different it just looks a bit stronger that's all well I've reinstalled the mud flaps as I showed you on the uh, on the other side wider strap more bolts plate up here so I'm pretty confident that that's not going to rattle loose again um, I hope that gives you something to think about when you put mud flaps on your vehicle if you don't like the original ones um, just remember there's a bit more weight here puts a bit more stress up here on the on the frame so I hope you liked the video uh, if you enjoyed it a uh, thumbs up would be appreciated if you'd like to subscribe I think the subscribe button's just here if you have any questions or comments please put them in the comments below and if you haven't seen the video where we did the conversion from the well body to the uh, aluminium tray and the canopy here, um, there's a video link up here. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.